So just in case you fall into this category of people searching for universities or people that want to inquire about Adeliki University, you are exactly in the right paths. You are walking through the right path. So you watch this video to get further inquiries about Adeliki University. From the title, you will know that this video is about the basic things you should know about Adelaide University before you come into the institution. I know that people have taken jump and people are looking for admissions. So you might have heard of Adelaide University and you want to know more about the institution before you apply. So here are the basic things you should know. I'll be talking about the educational part, I'm talking about the feeding, the accommodation, the school fees, and then some other random things you should know, some other things you should just know about the institution. And firstly, going into the location, Adelike University, University is located in um, Ede Ocean State, Nigeria. So you should know that if you are planning on coming to Adelike University, you'll be coming to the West, where you see more of Yoruba people. So just know this in your mind. Secondly, feeding. We um, are not really allowed to cook, but then you can make noodles with your kettle, you can make custard, you can make um, oats, and some other things now, tea, all these other stuff you can use kettle, but then all this kind of jello fries and all of that, you are not allowed to cook it. The school provides us with that, they feed us there, and then they don't feed morning, afternoon, and evening, they feed afternoon and evening. So you are allowed to provide your breakfast for yourself. That's where your kettle comes in, when you can make your tea and other little stuff you can make. And then, just in case you are not interested in the cafeteria food that they are serving, we have where you can buy your own food. Just in case they are serving beans in the cafeteria, you don't want to eat beans, you can go and buy rice from the um, canteen where they sell food. So they have places you can actually get stuff you want to eat if you don't want to go to the cafeteria. And then um, we use tickets for collecting of the food. We used to use tickets, but now we have a, um, a, a a card, like an ID card you just show to those serving and they give you food. So when you pay your school fees, your school fees um, covers the feeding part. So when you're paying your school fees, you don't need to pay for food again. Food is covered in your school fees, so it's part of your school fees. Some people DM me on Instagram and they were asking me about post UTME. When the when was the time for post UTME? And when I was coming into the school, I didn't do any post UTME. I just applied and I got admission. So I don't know. There's nothing like post UTME till till now. I've not heard of anybody doing post UTME. You just apply, and then they were asking me for jam score. What um what jam score? What ask the question self? What's the jump score, cutoff mark, something like that. Now, some people have graduated from Adelike University without ha writing jump. What this means is that you're going to do regularization. So, if you've not had your jump, like if you've not taken jump, you can still get admission by doing regularization. When you come into the school, you sort all, all that out, but you can actually do without jump. And there's no specific jump score. I wrote jump me, but then there was no specific jump score. But if you want to go for law or engineering, you need above 180 or 180. That's what I heard because I, I'm not a law student, so I don't know. But then I heard before you um, apply for jam for law, you need 180 and above or engineering. And I think maybe nothing too, but I don't know. But I know for other courses like um, history, mass comm, public admin, economics, all of that, there's no specific jump score. Adeleke University was established and is owned by Adedeji Adeleke, the father of David Adeleke, popularly known as Davido. Because somebody asked me before if Davido, if that was Davido's school. So it's not Davido's school, it's Davido's dad's school. So to clear that, Adeleke University is owned by the father of Davido. Get it? If you don't get it, forget it. And then we'll be talking about the church so Adelike University is a Seventh-day Adventist school, meaning that the school is um, run by Seventh-day Adventist. You can see I'm wearing a ring which shows that I am not a Seventh-day Adventist, but then I am a graduate. Even if you're not a Seventh-day Adventist, you can attend Adelike University and there's no discrimination at all. You can see. 
so um it's a seventh adventist school which means that we go to church on saturdays we don't go to church on sundays and it's compulsory we have muslim people too in the school who attend the school and they also go to church but they are given the opportunities to go to mosque on fridays so on fridays they have like a school bus that come to pick them and take them to mosque and return them back after the whole prayer and eat and prayer when they finish praying so even if you're a muslim you can still attend a daily queuing best because you can go to mosque but you must be ready to go to church as well. So we go to church on Saturdays and Wednesdays. And on Saturdays, we go Saturday in the morning around 9, 9 to 12 p.m. Sometimes it's 11.30, but most last, last, 12 o'clock. So um, we go to church on Saturday in the morning from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then in the evening, 6 to 7. Sometimes it extends to 7.30, but it's just like a one hour, one hour, 30 minutes program. We also go to church on Wednesday by 6 to 7. On Wednesday, when you have classes, on Wednesday, your classes end by 5 or 6 at most. So on Wednesday, your classes end by 5 or 6, so you can go to church. And because it's a Sabbath school, we are obliged to keep the, obligated to keep the Sabbath holy, which means that on Saturdays, you're not expected to wash. You're not expected to walk. Not like walk, walk, but you're not expected to like wash and iron and do all those um, stuff. You wait till Sunday. So Sunday is like our Saturday. On Sunday, you can go for your sports, your games. You can wash, you can do all of that. But then on Saturday, you have to just go to church and come back. But then some people still find a way to walk on Saturday. Like you can still wash, but then it's against the law. I'm just saying. Uh -huh. Another thing is the dressings, the hair, the hair color. For girls, you are not supposed to wear clothes that's going to show your armpits. Like wear a dress that's going to show your armpits. You are supposed to wear clothes that is going to be above your hand. Something here, something that when you raise your armpits up, they won't see your armpits. They don't see your cleavages and all of that. But still, <laughs> you know now, you know how <laughs> you know how life can be. So some people get away with it, but it's against the law, like I said. I don't know why I'm saying things that against the law, but I'm just saying sharp. And then you um hair color the two hair colors for girls is black and brown so you cannot use black you cannot use gold and all of that but that's sides people that are albino because their hair color is gold so you, they can use gold but if you are dark skinned or light skinned you can either use black or brown attachments you're allowed to use attachments you can make attachments you can barb your hair you can do whatever you want to do but then the length of the hair Normal, normal, they will say the length of the hair is shoulder length. It should be here, somewhere here. But some people still do above the shoulder, but not like bra length and ass length, like bum bum length. But then it should be, you know, something something like this. I did this hair in school, so something normal, but not extremely long for the girls. And then for boys, except you are naturally or born with dread. You're not supposed to be making dreadlocks, like making your hair dread. You just leave your hair that look cut, punk, molo, that skin, or you just leave it. But you don't do dreads and you don't dye your hair. You can either dye your hair black. <laughs> you can dye your hair black or, I don't know, but you should not dye your hair gold and other colors. People don't dye hair in the school, but no, no. <laughs> no, people will still do it. But that's against the law, by the way. For the school fees, school fees is school fees range from seven hundred thousand to one, I think one point two million. That's for law and engineering, but for other courses like um, economics, you know now econom. I'm saying you know, sorry, economics, mass com, public admin, English, religious studies, you. The school fees will not be above seven hundred thousand for hundred level students, and that seven hundred thousand, like I said, um, covers your feeding and your accommodation because we are, we are we all stay in hostel, except you have medical issues that you can't stay in hostel, then you have to give them a medical report and some other things that they will tell you. That's if you don't stay in the hostel, but then every other person stays in the hostel, except you're also married. When you're married, you can stay off campus with your family. So we all, we all stay in hostel, so it covers both your hostel and your feeding. That's that's why it's seven hundred thousand. Let me just like that. Not like I'm helping them promote it anyway, but I'm just saying that's that's the school fees for um, all those courses for law. You, I think it's one point two million, one million 
And that's it. And let's talk about the social activities. We used to have social activities. One time, the video came into the school and be read and some other people. We have had a lot of um, celebrities coming to the school for shows. So we have our social activities. We used to have dinner every year. We have faculty dinner and um, um, the school dinner. So we call the school dinner AUSA dinner. AUSA, AUSA, A-U-S-A. -A. That's Adelike University Students Association. So we have an association and we have social activities. We also have events. We have, like, if you know of Polytechnic, you know they used to have SUG. So that AUSA is more like, it's like our own SUG. So we have our outside president, secretary, financial, everything, all those posts. So you can have the opportunity to go for those posts when time comes, when you want to apply, when you want to, when you reach the stage of becoming that. Because the only level students cannot be going for all of that. So probably when you get to 300 level and and there, maybe 400 level, that's what people that are doing 500 level, five years course. So for MassCom, we use four years. For most courses, there are four years, except engineering, that's five years, law, five years. And we don't have medicine. We have other medical courses. We have microbiology. And we have anatomy. <laughs> we have those courses because I'm not a medical student, so I I don't know the ex. I don't know all the courses they have there. But I, those are the names of courses I've had. And I think there are five. Some of them are five years. Some of them are four years. So that's it about the social activities, and then the number of year, and um, how many people can stay in a room. We stay six in a room, three bunks, six people. And first, when I got admission and I had so six, I was really sad. But trust me, six is not a bad number at all. It's it's somehow, sometimes it's, it just depends on the kind of person you are anyway. Because someone like me, I can associate, associate, I can associate with anybody. So six, we are six in a room. Yeah. And then... Um, you cannot stay below six. You cannot stay below six. See, they tell us that uh, we can you can pay for just four people in a room. All the rooms I've ever gone to, they are they are always six. Well, except for those people that have maybe medical issues, and then they are not up to six people. So you might just say a room that has four people or five people. But that's everybody in that room has medical issues. Not like it's a bad thing though, but then they have medical issues. When I say medical issues, me I don't know the kind of medical issues. So everybody has different type of medical issues at so, all because I don't know the type. Maybe it's corona. I don't know. It cannot be corona, sure. but then, I don't know. Maybe they used to faint, see the beat there. And they don't fight in my school, all right? We don't train Agberus to fight. You can fight anyway, you fight, you go home. I don't think anybody can even fight in any institution in Nigeria, I don't think. So when you fight, you get ready to go home. Anybody that provoke you, you use mouth and talk to the person. It's like big brother thing. You don't fight, you talk with your mouth. And when you talk anyhow, they show you pepper with your own mouth. So when you want to fight, you use your mouth, but make sure your mouth can withstand another person's mouth. That's what happens in Adelike University. Adelike University is like a small village. No, no I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's, it has hot too, but like it's just everybody knows what's happening in the school, just in case you want to go and, you know, <laughs> take somebody's boyfriend, <clears throat> you know what's gonna happen. And then there's something we call docassin. I know I don't know why I didn't talk about this since docassin. Docassin is going out with somebody in the night. Yeah, I didn't even talk about what time they used to close the hostel. So I mm, have a lot of things to say. Hostels are closed by nine o'clock. It was formerly nine forty five p.m. But now, after this COVID-19 shit, they changed it to 9 o'clock. I don't know who told them that COVID-19 is to walk around after 9. So they have to start closing the hostel by 9. So you can go out by 8 with somebody, maybe your friend, <coughs> your man friend, <coughs> your your buddy buddy, anybody you can go out, you know, you can take a stroll, you can walk around, and that's what they call docassing. And in that docassing, things happen. You know, you go out in the night and you see things your eyes want to see. So that's what happens in docassing. So, but then you can also docass with a child of God. So what I mean is that you can docass and just walk around. So docassing is what just docassing is basically just walking around with somebody, mostly an opposite sex, and they're probably standing under a tree or sitting on the chair and talk, talking about things. So when somebody sees you, they're like you are docassing. So when you hear somebody say this girl docassed, doesn't really mean you did anything bad. Just because most of the times people docass, they do bad things. And they get caught. And when you get caught, you go home. So that's what happens. So, yeah. So things you should not even waste your time bringing when you're coming to school. 
you should not waste your time bringing gas because like i said we don't cook so there's no need to bring gas cylinder gas cylinder all that you can bring broom for your roommates and yourself because when you come come to the room and you don't bring broom they have we have a supermarket where so you get brooms you can get blankets you can get provisions you can get drink we have a supermarket inside the hostel safe that's inside the girls hostel i don't think they have inside boys hostel but we have a general supermarket where you can get stuff and also a supermarket inside the girls hostels you should know that adelike is one of the most beautiful universities in nigeria um, when i first entered you know one thing about the building of the school when you first enter the gate you'll be mesmerized our senate building is magnificent and superb so we have very beautiful areas for taking pictures for making videos and for generally just for you know showing off if you are an Adelike University student watching this video and you know other things that are essential for our freshers, 400 level students of people inquiring about Adelike University, please comment down below what I haven't said that you know. And if you are watching for inquiries and I haven't, I, I haven't answered questions you want to ask, do ask down below as well so I could answer you. And do make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless.